Hey, I think I've convinced myself of that. Well, I'm still a little bit wavering, so well, you have we're, to work me over a bit. We'll see how this one goes this morning, but uh, one of the things that we're uh, pretty excited about is uh, we're going to be learning about the world of fire. Yeah. And uh, we're going to be talking to this fella. <laughs> there he well, is. Well, there he is. Okay. Uh, that's uh, a fireman. Uh, that's a fireman. Uh, Geoff Gay Wood, Woods. Gay Woodsman. Gay off. Gay off Woodsman's is here today. Jeff. Hmm. Well, why is it spelt gay off? Anyway, uh, uh, okay. Is it Jeff? Well, we're gonna double check, but I, it's gay off Jeff Woodman's Woodsman's Woods. Anyway, uh, this is so hard, gang. We should have just said a firefighter. Well, he's a he is a firefighter. Yeah, and, and he tears it, a new asshole out of fires. You know, he goes at them, right? Well, let's well but that's what he does. Language. He fights them. Yeah. Uh, folks, before we do that, though, we need to head it over to me right now. Ellie! Hey, folks, are you a fudge lover? Well, this morning I want to show you how to make homemade fudge. Now, here's what you need to do. You're just going to take a candy bar and a lighter, and you're just going to light that f***ing hell um, candy bar on there, and when that gets all melted, you're going to cut it up into little pieces, and you're going to uh, have yourself some homemade fudge. Ooh, Ally, yum! I can't wait to try that fudge! Well, gang, are you looking for a great way to keep some senior citizens occupied? Well, here's a great suggestion. Why not take handfuls of puzzle pieces from four or five different puzzles and put them into one puzzle box, then set them loose? This could take days. Well, thanks very much, Andy. That's a great idea. Folks, are you having a tough time winning the lottery? Well, this morning, I want to tell you how to do it. 7, 3, 14, 27, 29, and 12. Well, gang, are you like me? You just love burgers? But wow, it's still breakfast. Well, here's an easy way around that. Just take your favorite burger, put it into an open cup bagel, and then in the morning, you've got this. It's a burger bagel. Ellie! Attention dudes who work in an office. Are you working late but you're still planning on going out afterwards? Well this morning I want to give you a tip on how to dazzle yourself up even if you don't have time to go home and change. Basically what you're going to do is take some glitter like this and some double sided tape and you're going to run a strip of it down the side of your pants like so. Now you're no longer wearing your work trousers, you're wearing your clubbing clothes. Oh, wow! Yeah! Well, uh, thank you. Captain um, Fancy Pants over here. Uh, folks, I do have <laughs> some experience in, obviously, uh, going out. Yeah! And uh, that, uh, trust me, fellas, will work. Well, and I see guys wearing these a lot in parades. You know what I mean, like, the Fancy Pants. Well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. They do, Andy. Well, that's where you see it. Anyway, I, I, I took the district. liberty of, of, of making uh, uh, some for you, well, my isn't friend, that because fun. I, I know that you're a married man and yeah. you probably don't get to get dolled up as well, much as you'd like and to. And you know, this would make a nice belt. Well, the, no, too, like you it's could for use the side it. of your pants. Yes, but it's like yeah. a party but belt. The, the thing is, it doesn't I like that. No, it, you don't wear it as a belt. Well, hold it's on. on the side of your pants. But it's kind of like I'm in the, like his Wonder Woman's belt. Oh, but he's completely undermining yes. the whole thing if he. Well, no, but you can use it like this, and this is also fun. I want to get a mirror. Anyway, uh, yeah. fellas, uh, that's a, a great way of Im impressing people if you have to rush out after work. Look at my party belt. It's for belt. the side of your pants, not your belt. Or you can um, wear it there. Anyway, we're going to a, a, a quick pants. commercial, and, and we certainly hope that you'll come back after that. Blue Collar TV, Saturday at 8.30 on the Comedy Network. In course language and subject matter, which is not suitable for all viewers, viewer discretion is advised. Just glad we're doing this, you know. Sure. Yeah. Here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, world, and welcome back to the program. My name is, of course, Alistair Coulter. Andy Pepper's here, gang. And boy, some of those commercials, wouldn't they make fun films? Absolutely. Um, you know, the emotion behind yeah. them. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're glad that you decided to come back after the break. Uh, yeah. And if you're just stopping on us for the first time, this is our program. This is what we do. Mm hmm. Um, so. Before we continue on this morning, Andy and I want to do something for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is how this is going to go. Mm -hmm. um, 
what we yes. have just done is successfully switch chairs. And this is a life lesson time, mm. gang. And, and, and the reason that we did that this morning is to demonstrate that uh, in order to understand someone, you mm. need to sit in their chair. Well, and I'm, I'm getting a good sense for your body because this mm. is quite forward slope. Right, hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, we're going to continue Strange. on by heading over to me. Ellie! Well, folks, this morning I want to show you where in the world teachers make less than a guy who plays one inning of baseball a week. Here. Andy? Thank you, Alistair. Great job. Tying a silk scarf to the end of a pen is a great way to add a little touch of panache the next time you need to handwrite. Oh, Andy. Peppers. Well, thank you very much, Andy. That's some great stuff. Well, folks, it's now time for a new segment here at Good Morning World called Rapid Fire. And this morning, I'm going head-to-head -head with Andy Peppers. Andy, what's your name? Andy. Last name? Peppers. As in the condiment, pepper? As in the vegetable, peppers. How do you spell it? P-E-P-P-E-R-S. You pause between S. Why? It gave me time to think. What do you do for a living? What? What do you do for a living? What? What are you saying what to? Is that your question? Sorry? One more time? Answer the question. What was the question? What do you do for a living? The same thing that you do. And that is? A morning show host? Good answer. Good question. Glad we got over the confusion. Great. Why'd you say great? Did I? Yes, you did. What did I say it to? Wait. Huh? Why did you say great? Can I ask you a question? No, this is not about me. It's your rapid fire. Great. You said it again. Good. Hmm? P-E-P-P-E-R-S. You just spelled your name again. I didn't pause that time. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Wrong answer. Ah. And that was rapid fire, folks. Why don't we throw it back to the guys right now? Guys? Well, gang, we've been doing a lot of talking this morning, but it's time to get physical here. Absolutely, Andy. Uh, folks, right now we want to do a little bit of a demonstration uh, illustrating some of our best self-defense techniques. Now, some of these are for self-defense. A couple of them are for show. Right. I think you'll be able to see which is which, but in any case, let's get the let's music begin. in. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay. Let's throw it back to the guys right now. Guys! Ooh, yeah! yeah! Well done! Wow! You know, I gotta say, Andy, <laughs> I was a bit nervous this morning about presenting that, but... Yeah! We pulled it off, well, pal. Well, I'm just glad we warmed up. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Because I felt that in here. Uh, and yeah. just to uh, clarify for all of you folks at home, mm. those uh, things that you just saw are for self-defense purposes. Well, and you may want to go back and really slow it down, because some of those moves are... Razor fast. And if you're going to be attacked, they're going to be helpful for you. Well, yeah, you'd want to be able to do the thing with the books. Um, folks, uh, we've got to uh, scoot off to commercial, but yeah. before we do, we want to take another look at... There oh, there he is. is. Uh, that's Jeff. Big old Jeff Woodsmansy. Of course, he spells it gay off. Yeah. Um, anyway, he's here because he's a fire person, and yeah. he's going to teach us how to light uh, fires or... Put them yeah. out. I, I'm not sure. We're going to find out. Yeah. Uh, but that's coming up after the break. Right now, however, we've got to scoot <laughs> off to a commercial. Come on back, gang. I certainly hope you do. Let's come at me, but I want to get my books first. World, the world's greatest morning host. 
Guardian like uh, rock stars. If you want to, if George you are. George Michael style. With the world's most exciting guests. Yum, Aggie's yum, yum. a phantom chicken, and she is sweet as pie. To the taste? Giving the world's best advice. It's now time for our biannual umbrella checkup. Watch Good Morning World, Friday at 8.30 on the Comedy Network. Hopefully that was helpful, likely it wasn't. This program may contain coarse language and subject matter which is not suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Good morning, world, and welcome back to the program. My name is, of course, Alistair Coulter. Uh, you might be wondering what the heck I'm doing playing with fire this morning. Well, it's okay because I know that I'm safe because my co-host, uh, Andy Peppers, is uh, off getting prepared to have an interview with a fire person, fire, firefighter, by the name of uh, Jeff Woodsman, and they're going to be learning about what it means to start and then put out fires. So why don't we head it over to Andy right now? Well, thank you very much, Alistair, and good morning to you. What a nice introduction. Now, attention, ladies and some men. We're not, we're cool with that. We're pretty excited because we've got somebody here from Toronto Fire Services. It's Fireman Jeff Woodmans. Jeff, welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having us out here yeah. today. Yeah, I want to ask a couple of questions before we get into a demo. Uh, first of all, is it true that when you look into a fire, you can see your soul? I don't think so. Okay. This is one, and this is actually from my wife, and I wanted to get this one out there. It's a scenario. You go to a fire, Justin Timberlake's inside, Peyton Manning's inside, and then a baby panda. Who do you save first? Well, we're there to save everybody. Well, I know, we're, but we're if there you to had save. to... I'm concerned about all lives, and that's what we're okay. there. You know, well, we're it's there to take me, care It's not me, it's mostly lives. my wife, and I think that she was hoping that you'd say Justin Timberlake. Because, oh. Well, she, she'll put on his music and just dance and shower. Okay, well, uh, appreciate the answers, Jeff, but enough of the questions, gang. It's time for a demo, so let's get to our feet. Okay, gang, well, as you can see, we are on our feet. Because we're going to go through a demo. Now, before we get into that, Jeff, I wanted to ask, if you are in a fire, what should you do? I mean, other than, you know, I would yell, like, get me the hell out of here now. Now, Andy, that's a, that's a great idea. Mm. But the problem is, is that smoke is your worst enemy. I want, you know, your viewers to understand that you got to get low. Well, I'd also be interested that smoke is my biggest enemy, but where does that rank with terrorists? Do you know what I'm saying? Because you hear a lot about who's our biggest enemy, and, and now I'm hearing it's smoke. Well, no, I'm, not, I'm not talking a political okay. environment. I'm talking about a fire environment okay. in your own home or another building. Okay so, yeah. okay, so I'm at the firehouse. I've just had a beautiful meal. I'm looking at a poster of Cheryl Teague's. You're in the gym. Yes. Getting, you're ready. You're physically fit. You're I'm, ready to I'm respond. I'm ripped. I'm ripped. I've been doing some of these. Oh, deadlifts. I, I, Excellent. Yeah. I hear the bell. Or do I? Or is it a siren? Or it, is someone just it, saying, well, what we, let's go. We call it an audible tone. It's a bebop. It's a high-low tone that starts bebop, low. and No, no, a little quicker. Bebop, little quicker. Bebop, bebop. No, no, no. More like... Bebop, 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 bebop. I get a little louder. Bebop, bebop. There you go. And, and then, and then you got to tell. It sounds like hip hop. Hip hop, hip hop. Get no, at it. Try, try bebop. Bebop, bebop, bebop. Time for fire. When you hear that, bebop, it's, it, the, it, it's time to get out the door. Okay. And time to get the gear on. So let's do this. I'm gonna right. see. What so I can do. First things you're gonna wanna do is mm -hmm. you're gonna arrive at the truck and you're gonna take your shoes off. Are you okay, be, I'm uh, fine, it's just that my balance is what's hard. All right, now let's pull the pants right up. Okay, and this is, yeah. are the guys helping the other guys or is it kind of like, listen, Kevin, you put on your own pants and let Darcy worry about his boots. I don't wanna do that with him. No, we take care of our own gear. Okay. Yeah. Let's get the snaps done up. There's Velcro, and then and there's a, a latch here, and then there's a button. And is the Velcro just easier than buttons? So that you, if you've got it, you're fighting, but it's like, well, nature calls. 
And I'm gonna... No, that, that's really not for urinating, that's for being able to get your equipment on and off quickly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You, know, you might want to try one of these on. <laughs> Okay. Howie, hey, actually, yeah, try Howie that. Howie Mandel that. used to do something with gloves. He yeah, I remember right that. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's the same glove that Howie would have used. I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> uh, a doctor already, yeah. It hurts, yeah. actually. Uh, you all right? You wouldn't, okay, yeah. Well, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, no, it could hurt. And you could rip your glove. Next thing we're going to go is we're going to move right to the coat. Okay. And in the coat, we carry a Nomex hood. And, a, and this is going to protect your face okay. and your neck. Okay. from uh, heat and flame. So just slide that right on there. Well, and those would yeah. be both important areas yeah. to protect, I'd yeah. imagine. Uh, you're going to have a hard time seeing out of there. There we go. How's that? Is that feeling okay? It feels hot. Now, let's get right to the coat because, you know, this truck is going to be rolling before you're ready. You know, so now, get that on. in the movie right? Backdraft, did they not wear these because Kurt Russell had a problem with that? He wanted his hair out? I, I have a feeling that was more Hollywood, and, and this is the real deal. This stuff rides the trucks and uh, is on my, on my back when I go to work, okay. when I get called out. So the next thing we're going uh, to put on is I just want you to just try the helmet out. Okay. Here you go. Now this chin trap under your chin, yes. okay? And, and put the helmet on like that, okay? Okay. I'm a little claustrophobic and okay. I feel a bit like a welder. Do you? Okay. Well, well just this thing down, well, it makes me feel like I'm welding. Okay, okay. Let's leave it up. Okay. Let's leave it up. Let's get this on. Okay. Okay. Now, really important. This is that, heavy, though. Is this yeah, you, easy now. I know I those are big boots. I guess this is why you something. wouldn't travel on a motorbike to a fire. Uh, no, no, we so want to ride the track. Balance. Normally, I'd like to see you with your coat done up, but, but it you won't know, fit because you, well, of your chest. You're ripping chest there. Mm -hmm. So let's yeah. get this done up. This is kind of like your safety belt. Well, it looks okay. like a seat belt from like an '87 K car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna don the face piece. Now, you're going to bring it up to your face, and I'm going to turn on the cylinder because you're not really... Okay, okay? and then okay. you're going to pull the hair net, okay? Now, you it? ready? Oh, yeah. Here comes the air. Oh, 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 well, that's oh. just letting you know that the safety systems are in place. I'm trying to now, bail, uh, Hang on now. You're okay. I know it's a little bit scary first I know, time. but I heard the sound. No, no, the sounds are good because okay. that's the safety systems that we have on this well, thing here. Well, it wasn't that bee bong, bee bong that I was expecting. No, that's the alarm when we're going out the door. Okay, okay now... Okay. Slow your breathing down. So I can't slow my breathing because I... Andy, Andy, slow down. It's okay. It's okay. It's, I know it's a little bit nerve-wracking, okay? Yeah, it's now, what, what I want to tell you, I want to let you know you got 20 kilos of gear on right now. Okay. And this is what we respond to fires in. I'm less interested nope. in the weight, but how much oxygen have I got? You've got a half hour in well, the cylinder. For safety's sake, let's throw back to the guys. I don't even want to risk it by a minute oh, here, Okay. I want to All thank right. you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, it was Jeff. an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having us. And if we had more time, we'd light part of the studio on fire and we'd see what I could do, but maybe hey. the next time. Hey, more. let's not light the studio on fire. Let's let sure our audience knows yeah. Safety comes first, and fire safety starts with them. Yes, it does. And get this, because it's very safe. Guys! Oh. Yeah! Oh, wasn't that interesting? Yeah, and a lot of fun. I mean, in all that gear, you yeah, know. Great I, I stuff felt like this Mr. Morning, Andy. November. <laughs> well, I bet you did. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so thanks again to Jeff thanks, for being Jeff. here this morning and yeah. teaching us a little bit more about the world of firefighting. Yeah, we're yeah. kind of going to put some of my skills into practice here by yes. lighting a small controlled fire. Okay, now this is, yeah. this is really quite easy. All you're going to yeah. do is get some stuff together that yeah, will burn. And, yeah. and of course, you don't want to do this if you've got smoke detectors. He's still here, right? Right? Fortunately, yeah? okay. we don't have smoke detectors. Okay, so. so let's okay. just see if we can't get in there. Well, with I'm the... going to see if I can't heat it up a little bit with okay. some of this fuel because this is fun. <laughs> no, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> uh, we're going to commercial. Come Stick around. Come on back. Lewis Black's Root of All Evil, a new episode, Wednesday at 10. This spring, zeros are everywhere during Mazda's Get It In Gear event. Zeros that tell you we're geared for our new... Course language and subject matter which is not suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. I think it's just important to let people do that. Well, yeah, yeah I'm glad that we've got the cojones to go there. Yeah, here mm -hmm. we go. Yeah. Uh, good morning, world, and welcome back to the program. My name is, of course, Alistair Coulter. Andy Pepper's here, gang, and congratulations to you... 
because you've almost made it to the end of our show. Absolutely. If, uh, if you've stayed with us. Unfortunately, we are sort of at the tail end of our program this morning. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. If you're just arriving, mm -hmm. we, well, we only have about a minute left. Yeah, I'd love uh, to recap, but most of that minute will be credits and then a five-second bumper at the end, which is an industry term. So, yeah. okay. Uh, anyway, before we do get out of here this morning, uh, Andy and I want to do something for you this morning that not a lot of television programs would. Yeah, we're going to go there, yeah, mm. so. Uh, we know that a lot of you are probably feeling very emotional. Well, uh, yeah, just for whatever reason. watching television, an emotional show, or maybe something distressing a pet did to you. Or you're going you through know. a divorce. Yeah. Uh, so we want to give you an opportunity this morning to have a good old-fashioned cry. These are our shoulders and they're here for you. Yep, so go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I understand. Is that enough? No. Oh, that's good. Okay. Uh, good for you. Uh, way yeah. to get it out. You I know, hope it's that was so cathartic. important. Yeah, yeah. Well, we certainly hope that was good helpful stuff. for you. Uh, before we get out of here, we want to end the show by doing what we always do and give you one last look at our faces. Yeah. yeah. Great stuff. Good uh, stuff. Great work today, Andy. Great. Um, Folks, I'm Alistair Coulter. Andy Pepper's gay. Uh, have a great morning, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. Yeah, kind of bobbled that. Well, it's a pound. I know, but I was under. No, but you just make a fist. Yeah, I know, but then you pound. But it, it, how it looked was it was going to land in my hand. No, that's a high five. I think that's